Hi, it's Lou. You know, the last video I was talking about inspections and our whole process in doing inspections on the properties to make sure of the condition of the property and making a business decision about whether we're going to continue to do business with the folks that are occupying the property. Uh, you do not want your houses to fall into disrepair. You want to know what's going on with them. Houses do change the, the nature of a house is it's inside an atmosphere that's constantly changing, you know, heat, cold, uh, rain, different things cause failures to houses from time to time. So we want to keep our eyeballs on those houses. We want to know what's going on uh, in that, the world of that house and the people that are occupying it. So one of the things we do is those inspections and someone was asking me, well, uh, how often do you inspect? We inspect once a year. And last week we did 14, for example. So did I go out and do 14? Oh no, baby. <laughs> There's no way I can do 14 inspections and do everything else I do. Now this is the importance of getting your head around building a team, building a team of folks that understand the program, understand what you're trying to accomplish, know their position and their role in that and do their job and do it very effectively. So we have a team member, G, he goes out and does these inspections for us. So again, we do our, our notification of our resident, give them a list of things that we're going to be looking at. Then our inspector goes out when our inspector is looking for is a whole variety of things that I covered in the other video. And we're going to share you with you some things here. Uh, and the importance is to understand that if I had to do those 14 inspections, they probably wouldn't get done. That's just the truth of it, right? Because we have so many things coming at us on a daily basis that are uh, entrepreneurial based. For example, we have opportunities to talk to sellers. We have opportunities to talk to buyers. We have opportunities to talk to real estate agents and mortgage brokers and other people that can become members of the team. And our job as business owners should be focused on building that team. And the reason I say that is because ultimately the goal is the four hour work week. And that's what I teach at the mastering business advancement class is, Hey, gear yourself towards a business that operates like a business where you're not wearing all the hats. And uh, that's one of the things you start off with is you are wearing all the hats, but the idea is as quickly as possible to get enough inventory and enough momentum in your organization that you can start taking off some of those hats. And it was, it was fun that uh, just this past Sunday night, we induct and inducted a new member of our millionaire club. And uh, in just 18 months, he's acquired 21 properties and all of it, the street smart way, doing things the way we do things and creating for himself over $12,000 a month cash flow. And, you know, those are all possibilities that are out there in the world, but you got to apply yourself. And the funny thing he shared with me when we were done is that he only spends five to six hours a week on his business in the real estate world, because he's got two other full-time businesses uh, that take his time. But what he's looking for is an escape from that because those are retail businesses. He's dealing with the public. He's got uh, 20 employees. He's got lots of stuff going on over there in that world. And, He's looking at real estate as his escape hatch, his way to build up a dependable, predictable retirement income that provides ongoing cash flow on a monthly basis uh, that he can now put himself in a position to have equity working for him on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. And so that's what can happen when you acquire enough property and you build yourself a team that's out there going and doing the things that you don't have to do. I love the opportunity to have folks living in our properties that get up and go to work. So you don't have to, and it's only because you got the right training, the right tools, the right technology and the right 
team to make that happen. And I want to apply for a position on your team. I would love to be a coach, a mentor, someone to help you structure an amazing multi-million dollar business. I look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, baby.